going on guys Dom here in today's video I have one rumor and one large fact for you so the rumor comes from detective Grookey is always Grookey thank you very much and the one ginormous fact comes from Sobel 3 Sobel 3 did a ginormous graph of everything leading up to Pokemon X and Y and Sun and Moon I put the link to both their Twitters down in this in the description and it's just amazing how detailed this is. This is the most detailed Pokemon thing I've seen. And they uh, Sobel kept up with it for all these years. So I appreciate you so much, Sobel. Guys, head over there. Uh, give him a follow. Drop a like. Find the, the post. It's, it's amazing. It's crazy. But we're definitely going to go over it. And we appreciate both of you. Roll the intro. Alright guys, so as always I'm putting whatever I'm talking about up on the screen and let's jump right into it. So the one that comes from Grookey looks like a post um, and it says there are 90 Bulbasaur placeholders post Zero Aura in Rumble Rush. So I'm assuming this is a Rumble Rush data mine, something that always happens and something new from Pokemon comes out, it's like an app or a video game and we immediately data mine it because we want the info. Fair enough. Um, so minus Meltan and Melmetal. So let's start, so here comes the numbers. 90, you're taking out Meltan and Melmetal, so we should get 88. There are going to be 88 new Galarian Mons and Gen Galar. So hype to the sky is what the post says, and I completely agree with that. That is awesome if this is true. Now we also have to factor in a few things. We have to factor in Pokemon that are already um, existing that have different forms. So for example, are we counting uh, Executor and Alolan Executor as two separate Pokemon in the decks? Or how does that work exactly? My answer would simply be uh, they would get the same entry, quote unquote, um, how Sun and Moon kind of worked. But uh, that's just me. I mean, even Let's Go Pikachu had them as the same Pokemon, just in uh, the same Pokedex entry, just in different forms. Um, so that would only make sense to me. But 88 new Pokemon is amazing. Um, that was about the number that we got in most of the, the quote unquote rumors. They gave us somewhere between 63 and 115. That's that's a large, it's a large range to be honest with you. So anyway, I could literally say the number would be 15 to 115, and I would probably be right to be honest with you. But to be fair, that's a that's a pretty solid number. It makes sense. Um, they already, I'm assuming they already have the compatibility, or they're planning to make Pokemon Rumble Rush compatible with Pokemon Sword and Shield. We're unsure. This is the rumor part. But now we're about to get into the fact that comes from Sobel Three. So I should have it up on the screen. What you guys are looking at is the graph of Pokemon Sun and Moon, and it's color coded. So it's pretty simple. The green Pokemon are the ones that were officially revealed. The ones that in yellow are the ones that are um, that were put out in Koro Koro, and the ones that are in red had no reveal whatsoever. We found out about them as soon as the like the game came out, or they just gave it to us later on. But this is all. Um, supposed to give you a range of beforehand prior to the games coming out so uh, the all the starters were pretty much revealed they're all in green awesome uh, Pecky Peck was the only one in his line that was actually revealed the Young Goose line Grubbin line uh, Krabomable was not actually in there but uh, Crab Baller was that's pretty awesome the majority of these Pokemon were actually revealed prior to the game being out so this is this should give you a really awesome idea or a pretty close idea of what we're supposed to be expecting prior to the release of Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. These being the uh, most recent games that are um, that are supposed to be that came out last. Excuse me. Now we have in yellow only three Pokemon, a whopping three Pokemon. If you can tell, uh, this, this graph actually breaks it down into two parts. I know it, it may be hard to understand, but I, I'll do my best to explain it to you. Uh, the Pokemon on the left side of the graph and the Alolan forms are the right side of the graph. At the, the legend at the, at the very bottom. So, the three Pokemon that were revealed in uh, Koro Koro, as you can tell, they're in yellow, were Marini, Cosmoem, and Necrozma. Those three were put out in Koro Koro, and that was it. That was that sounds astounding to me. I'm surprised uh, Koro Koro didn't get more. Which means, should we really be expecting much from Koro Koro from Pokemon Sword and Shield? Probably not, guys. Judging from this amazing math that was done right here. I mean, 83% of the Pokemon were revealed officially. 3.7% of them were put out in Koro Koro, and 13.5% of them weren't revealed at all. They had no reveal whatsoever. So let's move on. The um, 
the forms, the, the Alolan forms, three of them were, weren't revealed at all. We found out about them when the game came out. You just got the game in your hand, and that's when you found out about them. We didn't know that um, Geodude was actually getting a form. We had no clue until the game came out, according to this. And I think it's it's amazing how accurate this is and the math that's broken down into percentages. So let's just round that up. Officially, 83% of the Pokemon were revealed prior to the game actually being out. That's amazing. And, but we're not done there. Sobel 3 actually included the graph to Pokemon X and Y, I believe. I should have it up on screen right now. So if you're checking out this graph, the numbers are completely different from Pokemon Sun and Moon. So can you say the Pokemon company is becoming less secretive or they're giving away too much? Or is, do you guys like that? Are you guys okay with them giving away 83% of X and Y? I mean, excuse me, Sun and Moon. But according to this graph right here, only 55, well let's round that up, 56% of the Pokemon were officially revealed prior to the release of Pokemon X and Y. I don't know which, what you think about that, but that is a drastic change. That is about 30% right there that just X and Y was kept, it was more secret, I guess, because it was their, their big venture into this, this new um, off-the-grid format. We were just, we had diagonal movement for the first time. Maybe they wanted to keep so many things to themselves, but... 17 Pokemon were revealed in Koro Koro, a lot more. That's substantially more than what we have in uh, the previous game, Pokemon Sun and Moon. That's 24% of them were put out in Koro Koro. 15 were not revealed at all. So I think we had more there, which is amazing to me. Now let's talk about these Megas right here. So we have a total of how many Megas? 28 Megas. The bottom left of that legend says uh, 72 and 28. There's 72 Pokemon. Uh, total then 28 of the Pokemon were actually Megas. So of that 28 Megas looks like 13 of them were revealed beforehand. Three of them were revealed in Koro Koro and 15 were not revealed at all and you only find out about them until the game actually came out. That's amazing because Mega Evolution was the big aspect that everyone was waiting for in Pokemon X and Y and they managed to keep 15 of them under wraps. That's a lot more. I believe that's over half because it's 15. Yeah, only 13 of them were actually oh, we were actually aware of prior to the game coming out. Or is it even? Well, no, that's right. That's wrong. It's 16 versus um, 12. I read that wrong. My bad. So pretty close. It's an awesome number still. I mean, we, we got the 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 uh, mega forms of the Kanto starters. We had no idea about Mega Alakazam. We had uh, Mega Gengar put out in Koro Koro. Mega Kangaskhan was officially revealed. Uh, Mega Pinsor, Mega uh, G Gyarados, Mega Aerodactyl were not revealed at all. Mega Mewtwo, of course, everyone knew about Mega Mewtwo X and Y. That was revealed. And Mega Ampharos was also revealed. This is an amazing graph. And I have to hand it to you, Sobol. This was amazing. Like, And they he didn't just stop there. Sobol went out of his way to just do this amazing thing that literally it's a google document that i'm about to show you that starts from when the games the very first information uh came out and then all the way down i'm not going to go over all of it because it would be far too much for anyone to actually go through in one video it would take maybe hours for me to go over through all this information but just looking at this graph right here it's amazing i'm about to get into the google document right here i'm going to show you a few things but i'm not going to get into anything specific and let's get it right into it so what you guys are looking at is the time frames of announcements for pokemon sun and moon so the first bit of information was the 2016 January 13th next month's Coral Coral to have a major announcement that affects the entire world for the movie that was the first bit of information we got February 10th Coro Coro begins to leak introduces a brand new mythical Pokemon I'm, I believe that's supposed to be Magurna Magurna excuse me but that's I, I think it's misspelled that's perfectly fine we can still we can still understand what it means um let's skip over to this right here this is crossed out it says March 12th 2016 Coro Coro states that special Sun and Moon info to begin next month this is crossed out because I believe this is this was uh disproven this was not true then we have uh, two more things that were just uh, not proved, that were proven not to be true. Po Pokenichi? Poke Pokenichi on April 3rd to feature Masuda, Muramoto, and Omori for the first Sun and Moon TV footage. Didn't get it. Didn't happen. So let's scroll down to see. Let's just pick one random thing. Let's stop right here. Uh, 2016, August 26th. Revealed the first Pokemon Sun and Moon distributions. 
All right, let's stop right here. Okay, see. Pokenichi to have a huge presentation of Pokemon Sun and Moon game and anime info on October 16th. No one watched it? Question mark. Didn't happen. We have no inform we have no information on it. So let's go all the way to the bottom. It says the 23rd of 2016 was the game was when the games were officially revealed. This is amazing because this is literally a like a timeline of everything that led up to the game being released. I don't know about you guys, but this is this is outstanding. Now let's jump over to Pokemon X and Y. So let's scroll to the very top. The first bit of inf information we got, um, rumors of news soon, 2013, January 4th. Let's scroll down. Let's go to the first crossed out one. Core core to get more news next month. Lies. It was for the movie. Sorry. Uh, let's scroll down some more. Pick a random one. Um, here we go. 2013, January, uh, June 12th. EVs and IVs to be more visible. This is amazing. Like this is literally everything. I don't know how you compiled this Sobel, but I would love to know. I'm probably gonna ask you, how did you get all those information? Did you just stack this up? Or are you like super meticulous? Like guys, this is crazy. Then there's the Mega Evolutions right here. Some of them were September 11th, 2013. A bunch of things were, were put out. Mega Evolution of Mewtwo, Garchomp, Mewtwo X, uh, Quilladin, the, the, the starters middle evolutions, more Pokemon, Tyrant, uh, just so much. This is just crazy. Let's see. Confirmation that it's one mega evolution on each team rather than each battle. That's 2013 September 29th. That's crazy. Let's go to near the near the actual release. Coral Coral reveals a large variety of Pokemon, includes Starters Final Evolution. So right before the day before the game came out was when we first started the Starters Final Evolution. But I believe they is this uh X and Y? No, yeah, this is X and Y. Okay, so new Mega Evolution for Charizard, Mega Charizard X. It's October 2nd. Look at all this information is just crazy. Um, I didn't know people did this kind of thing. I thought it was just whatever. I mean, they literally even put the ones in there that were false. That is amazing, guys. That is outstanding. I don't know what else. Now, you see in our community, we have some amazing people that are super into Pokemon. They're so passionate about it. They detail every little thing, and that's amazing. That is something that I... I don't think I could do and then maintain the documents and keep them over time. I probably would have thrown away, it, thrown it all away in the recycle bin and deleted it on accident. But Sobel, this is amazing, guys. Um, I'm gonna put the link down to this Google document um, in the description so you can check it. Out. I'll check it out if you want to. But I think that'll do it for, for this video. Sorry, I couldn't go through all this. This would take way too long. But I hope you appreciate it as much as I do. Thank you, Sobel. Dom out.